Hello everybody, this is Guy Cosmo. I am with United Auto Sports this weekend. We are here, 24 hour of Le Mans weekend. We are competing in the Road to Le Mans. This is an amazing opportunity for me. I have never raced at this epic event. I'm not racing the 24 hour this weekend, but this is a unique opportunity. The first time ever in the history of this event where they are doing a support race for GT3 and LMP3 machinery. We got some fancy race cars over here. These are the uh, Enroque Ligier LMP3 cars. I'm gonna take you for a little tour. Car number three, this is my car. I'm teamed up with Mike Headland. Mike is the man, he is a bronze rated driver, mandatory in the series to have one bronze and one silver driver. In the other car, we've got some fancy race car drivers over here, some of which you may know, Christian England leading the LMP3 championship in the European Le Mans series. And I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this guy, but this is Martin Brundle. I don't know, Formula One, Le Mans winner. The guy's an animal and he is back to race in uh, quite some time, right? Tell us a little bit about how you're back. Uh, last time I raced here was 2012 with my son, which was the ultimate father-son experience. But, yeah, prototype car, Ligier LMP3, United Autosports, our sponsors, and the whole Le Mans circuit. Shouldn't talk with my sunglasses on this route. That's all right. <laughs> and, uh, You've earned it. And the Le Mans circuits to ourselves. So, yeah, absolutely can't wait to get going. Yeah, really excited to be your teammate in the other car. Hopefully I'll pick up a few tips from you this weekend. We've got an extremely short amount of time on track, but that's going to benefit this guy over here because Christian England, I don't really know how to use this camera, but it's awesome. Christian, I'm going to go this way. You're, uh, you're leading the LMP3 championship in the European Le Mans series with United Auto Sports. Yep. Uh, tell me a little bit about this car since I've never driven one before. Uh, it's a great car. You're going to love it. A um, lot of grip, uh, decent power. Um, and yeah, just jump in and see what you think. Simple enough instructions, right? Get in and go. We've got a, a short amount of time on track. We've got two one-hour practice sessions, a 30-minute qualifier, and then we've got a uh, 50 or 55-minute race where, again, two drivers are mandatory, so there's a, a timed mandatory pit stop in the middle. Uh, are you going to be starting or finishing the race? Um, we're not sure yet. We're going to see what the practice sessions run like and what the weather looks like and things like that, and then take it from there. Um, but as you've alluded to there, is we're not going to get many laps. It's such a long lap, um, mm -hmm. so there's not much time to learn the track. But we'll all do the best we can. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, and and you too. Hopefully we'll be filling up two spots yeah. on that podium. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. So here's a look at our car. Uh, Nissan V8 engine. Horsepower spec, I don't really know. I'm going to assume somewhere around the four, 450 horsepower range. There's my star engineer, Steve Bunkall. We've worked together in the past. This is the 360-degree camera. This thing is fantastic. We're getting a look around. But you can see these cars are sleek. They're sexy. Uh, they sound great. They've got a roaring V8 in them. Lots of downforce, but cost-controlled. Each car has to sell for 206,000 euro. It is a spec series. You cannot change anything in them. It is all about tuning the car, tuning the driver, and going out and winning races. Hope you enjoyed it. Wish me luck. See you guys in victory lane.